Are you in a dilemma of whether to shift the house or to renovate the existing house? Not only you, but many of them go through this phase. In the beginning, we like the house to be small and cozy. It feels like the house has everything, a sizable living room, a kitchen, or even a bigger bedroom, extra space. But as and when the family grows, it feels like there is not enough space left. The minute this thought hits our mind, we get into the dilemma and we get into a situation where either we should renovate or shift to a different house. Hey, my name is Balaji Badranath and I know everything about this topic since I specialize in real estate and help people like you to decide what's the best for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and tap the bell icon so that I can notify you whenever I post new videos. And this video has all the answers to your dilemma, hence watch it until the end. First of all, let me tell you, don't be in a hurry while taking such decisions. Because both renovating the house and shifting the house needs a lot of your savings. Renovating is a kind of cost effective compared to shifting. So let's understand what is the meaning of renovating the house. The word renovation is referred to the construction industry. Renovation refers to the process of improving or modernizing an old damaged or defective building or to make the space look more presentable. Shifting is to change one's home or place of residence. So let's see what are some of the pros and cons of shifting versus renovating the house. Let's start with the benefits of renovating the house. So renovating the house is cost effective than buying a new house and shifting the house. Evidently, while deciding whether to shift the house or to renovate the house, you will need to put your dreams aside for a moment and look at the cost effectiveness. So shifting the house empties all your bank balance, as I said earlier. Thankfully, a well thought out renovation project will not empty your bank balance. What makes renovating the house more reliable is the fact that you can update your house to your budget and still make the house look new and beautiful. Buying a new house may be very exciting. In this excitement, you may neglect some small trade-offs. For example, you may love the kitchen, but the living room may not be according to your taste. And if you decide to make any changes, you will likely find that the project's final cost will rival that of your entire house. Conversely, if you decide to renovate your old home, you will be able to customize the house according to your taste. Just go ahead. You may need to remove some of the internal structural walls, but if it fits your budget, then go for it. You will get to live in the same surroundings and if you have been living in the same surroundings of your life, chances are that you know your way around. You will get along with your neighbors. You may also know where the best coffee shops, restaurants and retail stores are located in your neighborhood. You and your children will not have the stress of leaving your friends uh, behind and shifting always comes with the stress of a change of job or workplace, new schools, etc. It's always a good idea to renovate the house than to shift to the new house and the place. So the cons of renovating the house. If you're planning on updating a new room or some other rooms, that's fine. But if you wish to renovate the whole house, it's just not worth the investment. Renovating is only cost effective if there are only a few places to renovate the house. But if you want to change the structure of the whole house, then it's always a good idea to get a new property and shift to that house. Even if your bedroom is the only room that's being renovated and you don't mind sleeping on the couch, the daily commotion itself is bound to eventually get your nerves and disrupt your sleep. In other words, for the next several weeks or months, you will need to either crash at a friend's place or to find a suitable hotel room. Until your house is renovated, you will need to find a place for your stuff and for yourself. One of the advantages of moving or shifting the house is that you will get to live in a location and a new neighborhood. You can buy a house according to your preferences, a considerably larger or smaller home. You can also choose a new locality and a better neighborhood. You could even move to an area with better schools and malls, which is something you don't get when you renovate your existing house. Very importantly, you don't have to deal with the mess. Even if you have planned to renovate only a few rooms, renovating the house is an invasive thing. A major kitchen renovation could leave you without a place to prepare food for months and this can be very inconvenient. If you have enough money to buy a new house and shift, then forget about renovating and be stress-free. When it comes to the shifting versus renovating debate, you always need to keep in mind the often astronomical cost of furnishing. 
the newest household designs have everything built in from the outside. The wood flooring, wood panels, wall panels, spacious and modernly furnished rooms, etc. Find a proper professional like us uh, to find a house according to your budget and taste. It will be much easier to find a perfect house. So let's also cover some of the cons of shifting the house. So buying a new house and shifting of a house may cost you for life. You would think that the money you have got from selling your home should be enough to cover all the expenses. Apart from this, there will be a few extra charges like the commissions, the legal papers, other fees and whatnot. The bigger your family, the more you will have to move around before uh, you decide which possessions should go and which ones should stay. After infinite hours of sorting and packing, comes the time for actual moving of your heavy household articles, TV, clothing, etc. In other words, things can get pretty stressful and hectic during a move. So concluding, the shifting and renovating both have their own advantages and disadvantages. Don't go by some other's opinion. Before deciding, sit with your family and decide. Don't forget to check your bank balance. With that, I will see you soon in my next video.